You ready, Cap Guy? Yeah, I'm ready. And a three, two, one. Good morning, folks. It's time for the Cap Guy Show, starring the Cap Guy over here and me. I'm JT, and we're in Oklahoma, as if y'all didn't already know that. And Cap Guy's going to go over what he sold yesterday. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for the folks that are nice to our channel. We appreciate it. We hope you're learning something, and we hope that you laugh, because that's our goal here is make you laugh, entertain you, and teach you how to make money on eBay and other platforms, too, although we don't sell on those. You ready for some jokes? I said, are you ready for some jokes? I said, are you ready for some jokes? I think they are, JT. Well, they didn't say nothing. They can't, they can hear you, but they can't hear, never mind. Well, you just get that all messed up every time, don't you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, go ahead with your jokes. What do you call a sleeping monster who won't keep quiet? I don't know. What do you call it? Frankensnore. <laughs> oh, man. What do sea monsters eat for lunch? I don't know. What do they eat for lunch? Potato ships. Get it? Potato? Nah. <laughs> they better get it. Anyway, let's get on with the show, folks. Y'all have a great Tuesday. And Cap Guy's going to talk about something's going on this Friday. And then we know what's happening Saturday and Sunday. Football! I said, football! Longhorns and Cowboys. Yippee! <laughs> he wrote about that last part. Longhorns and Cowboys. Hook them horns and how about them Cowboys? Rams, your first up. It's a good team, too. Hope you enjoyed his jokes, and I hope we do make you laugh. That's our goal. Make you laugh, entertain you, and uh, hopefully teach you something. You know, I mean, I pick up from people all the time. Uh, yesterday, I saw Froggy Flips pick up Dr. Pepper bottle openers, and he paid two, I think he paid uh, 3 50 a piece. He got them for $7, and I was like, okay. $59 a piece what them things sell for. Them vintage Dr. Pepper things. So, hey. And he and uh, Friday we're going to uh, the Highway 75. That don't work. The Highway 75 uh, 100 mile yard sale. I talked a little bit about it yesterday. It's in southeast Kansas and northeast Oklahoma. Stops, starts up around Bartlesville, Dewey. Kind of runs up into Independence, Kansas. Back over and then down through Coffeeville and back in Oklahoma. So we're probably gonna rent a vehicle cause I don't have anything. My truck's being used right now. And uh, we're gonna probably rent an SUV or maybe even a van and see what we can come up with. There's a lot of flea markets and uh, crafting stuff and I don't do crafting. Uh, it'll be the yard sales we'll be after. And there's a couple of citywide ones. So it's about two and a half hours from here. So we're gonna be up about four o'clock in the morning headed out to get there by I like to get there at 7 to scope things out and be the first, not the last. And that wasn't my saying. Mine is sales or sales, profits, profit. And we're going to get into profit because that's what we made yesterday. So here we go. First thing on the Cap Guy Show is this. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This is a vintage Ford Dash clock. And I found this in Corn, Oklahoma uh, on the... Uh, June the 27th, the citywide Corn, Oklahoma. And it's just a little clock. It's not very big, maybe four or five inches long. And uh, paid $5 for it. Only thing I have left out of this $20 buy of three hood ornaments, this, and uh, is to two taillights, I think, to an old Ford. So uh, I paid uh, about $250 for this because I spent $20 on all of it. And... Um, Sold it for $29.75, 15% off sale, plus shipping on top. And when that was said and done, I made uh, $22.77. So I'll take it. The next is a black wing skeleton hoodie. I thought this might be something that would be popular, and it really hasn't been. 
So I won't be picking those up anymore. I just thought because of the skeletons, the kids would want that stuff. I paid um, seven thirty-seven at Goodwill is what I figured. I couldn't remember, so that's typically what hoodies go for. Um, sold it for eleven seventy-five, so I made five dollars and twelve cents off of it. The next is a true religion, and usually you'll see these in jeans, but it looks like a jean pocket there. Tote bag. It's in really good condition. I got this at the bins, and why I picked this up at the bins, one, it had true religion on it, but sometimes I forget a bag and I have to put stuff in the bag because you weigh it on a scale. And for those of you who've ever been to the bins, you kind of know what I'm talking about. A lady in Great Britain kept asking me about it, and it, through the GSP, it was just going to cost too much. So she asked me if I'd go through the International, and I did, and ended up costing $21 to ship this to England. Plus, of course, the shipping with the 10% off. So about a quarter invested. It didn't weigh much. Um, I got it in a priority flat rate envelope, but to ship a priority flat rate envelope over there was more. So I slid it in a poly bag on top of that. So anyway, $13.50 sold. I made uh, $9.37 off that True Religion tote bag. The next is a Ralph Lauren polo. I bought these last summer, a ton of Ralph Lauren and a, a ton of Miss Me and other jeans. And if you've seen my inventory room, you've kind of seen that. And it is dwindling, and I had a few here and there, but not like I was. I was going crazy last summer when I first went full-time. And uh, the only Ralph Lauren polo I pick up now are the rugby-type long-sleeve shirts. I'll pick up the larger sizes in the 3, 4, 5X. And I'll pick up anything black label or purple label up here in the tag because that's what's valuable. And the rest of it, it just ain't. Um, I paid, uh, what did I pay? $6.99 for this back on June 20th of 19. So I've had this over a year. And I sold it for $12.83 plus shipping and I made $3.94. But sales are sales, profits, profit, and I made a profit. The next I bought just uh, recently, again, it's in my 10% off, and then I saw an offer, our watcher, so I sent another offer. It is the Alien uh, Face, uh, what do you call it? The face uh, thing that gets on your face in the movie. It's from 1997. Well, I'd hate to have that on my face. <laughs> yeah, me too, JT, me too. Anyway, it's the Face Hugger is what it's called, and it's from the movie Alien. And I paid $4.99 at a local thrift store. And I sold it for $44.95 plus shipping, and I made $34.86 off of something I wouldn't collect, but hey, to each of their own. Next is a game I picked up for $0.50. Cents. Picked up a few of these at a local thrift store as well. Not to be confused with my brother's stuff, because he has a lot of the similar stuff like this uh, that he brought up. Sonic 2 Advance, Game Boy Advance. Um... I paid uh, 50 cents for this in a bundle deal, and I sold it for $15.98 plus shipping. I made $13.67 off of that game. The next is an Orange Crush Women's. It's got the bling on the top there. It's little fake diamonds there on the orange slice on the top. And I used to love me some grape and knee-high and Orange Crush and all that back in the day. The little old general store where the door slammed, the screen door slammed when you went in off the spring. Brings back some pretty good memories. But anyway, the memory now is I paid 18 cents at the bins for it. I sold it for $9 plus shipping on top. And I made uh, eight sixty-five off the ball cap. The next is Mary Kay Timewise Matt Ware Foundation. Luckily, I didn't sell the Bronze 5 or 7 the other day because the Bronze 5 just sold. Eleven ninety nine plus shipping. I paid two fifty six a piece. Is what this uh, valued at uh, in the hundred dollar lot. I'm probably closing in on three hundred dollar profit or more off this uh, makeup, and I've still got a decent amount left. Um, makeup's definitely something new that you want to pick up. Uh, but JT wants to go with me to deliver it. I think we're going to deliver it personally because it's the first time I've ever shipped there. It's going to the Caribbean. It's going to the Cayman Islands. When I saw the GSP code KY, I thought, KY? Where is that? Kajistan or something? I don't know. And then I looked it up, and it's the Cayman Islands. So that's where it's going. 
I made $9.27 off that. And the last thing I sold, and these are definitely a bolo when you find them. This is about the third pair or fourth pair I found this year. At yard sales, typically, I found one at a Goodwill. And uh, these are Gaviota 2. They're Hoka 1s. Hoka shoes are one of the best shoes you can buy, tennis shoe-wise, and resell. I paid $5 for these. I sold them for $48.99 on a 17% off sale, although I'm not running a 17% off sale. I can't figure that one out. Um, plus, shipping on top, I made $39.22 off those shoes. So definitely pick up Hoka's. All right, we had nine sales. We had $32.84 in cost of goods. We had $194.99. I would have cleared $200, but one person hasn't paid me yet, and they're in Australia, and I don't know. I don't think they will based on the fact that sometimes people see what it's going to cost to ship it, and they back out, but they don't say anything. The profit yesterday was $145.62, and I'll take that all day long. Sales are sales. Profit's profit. We're going to get out of here, and we're going to get to the post office because this is my shipping today. There's one bag, and there's two bags. So there's a lot of shipping went on in the last couple of days, and I kept up with it pretty good so I didn't get behind and have to ship 50 items at once. Uh, my dogs wanted to go outside here next to me, so I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thumbs up, like, view, share, subscribe, binge watch if you want to. And uh, we will talk to you tomorrow as we always do. Cap Guy, JT, and Baby here. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Y'all have a great day.